crazy. Women are a little crazy on you, you know? That's the problem with the men and women situation is, here's the, here's the actual, I've broken it down what the problem is. The problem is, is that women are always thinking, always. Their brains are continuously working. They never stop thinking. It doesn't have to be about them or you. They're just thinking about shit all the time. Right now, Vicky could be sitting there looking at the stage going, I wonder what that stage is made out of. Just in her head. Just, see, she's laughing because that's what she was thinking just now. She's like, I wonder what it is made out of. Is that microphone heavy? What if that's a heavy microphone? They're just always thinking. They're just thinking of shit all the time, even when they're sleeping. That's why women will always wake up, I had a weird dream. I wake up and go, I wish I could remember my fucking dreams. I don't remember my dreams. Oh my God. You ever had a girl, you ever had your girlfriend wake up from a dream and she dreamt about you and you did some fucked up shit in her dream and she wakes up mad at you? <laughs> hey baby, don't fucking touch me. What did I do? You know what you did. I, I woke up. I wish you didn't. But women are always thinking. Their brains are continuously moving. They're always exercising that brain. See, guys have the ability to do something that women can't do. I don't know if you can't do it or if you just choose not to. I don't know if you're afraid your brain will shut off if you do this shit or something. But guys have the ability to sit there for like 15 minutes, stare off into space, and think about nothing. Like, nothing. When I say nothing, I mean there isn't one single thought in our head. Like, if you were to put a camera in our head to see what we were thinking, it would just be a blank screen. At best, at best, a fucking screensaver. That's it, just this. And women can't handle that shit. Because women will always come over to you when you're having your 15 minutes of thoughtless time. And always come over. What are you thinking about? Have you ever noticed how fucking scared we get when you do that? What are you thinking about? Son of a bitch! And we tell you what we're thinking about. Nothing. Now here's the thing, about a month into a relationship, a woman will look at you and go, Promise me something. Sure, anything, what? Promise. You'll never lie to me. I promise. And that's the first time we lie to you. It's messed up is when you tell your woman the truth and that's the wrong answer. You tell her the truth and that's not what she wanted to hear. They tell you, never lie to me, we tell you the truth and it's not what you want to hear. It doesn't have to be a good truth or a bad truth, it can just be an indifferent truth, but they don't want to fucking hear about it. That's why when they ask you, what are you thinking about? And we go, nothing. We just told you the truth. But that's not what she wanted to hear. Come on, you have to be thinking about something. No, I wasn't. It was no, I wasn't nothing. There wasn't anything in my head. Nothing. Really? They start accusing you. Why won't you tell me what you're thinking? What do you think I'm hiding my fucking thoughts? Even if I was, they're my fucking thoughts. If I wanted them to be real, I would have said them. You always do this shit. Do what shit? Why won't you tell me what you're thinking about? Because I wasn't thinking about anything. <laughs> Share with me. <laughs> Share what, you fucking psycho? <laughs> and it's at that moment where we have to make a decision. You force us to lie to you. We have to invent a story right then and there to tell you what we were thinking, just so you don't think we're retarded. 
All right, all right. All right, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was just thinking about how pretty you are. Good to see you. 